we're going to do again is we're going to do negative lighting, black panels, and then we're going to come in with a big swatter up above to knock down the sunlight so it's not too high. The swatter is just, I don't know how we ever survived with using umbrellas and things like that before that would get in the way and, you know, just cuts down your whole shooting space. Let's bring in the, the black on both sides. Higher. There you go, just for a nice tight headshot here. It saves time and saves money. It keeps the client happy too when I'm out there on the job, just because we're able to move a lot faster than we normally would. Most of the clients are used to people moving pretty slow and you're not getting as many shots as you can and the sunbound stuff almost makes it a little too easy and they end up spoiling them and then they expect a little bit more out of you. On this one, I was lucky enough to have a small group of assistants at a very expensive model. And my whole thing is to optimize my time and my budget with a small crew like this. And other times we have jobs where I only have one assistant. We end up using a lot of C-stands, the sandbags. We work with what we have. When it's an editorial, you're allowed one assistant. So the C-stands and all the attachments that we use for the sun bounce equipment make it really easy. It's like having a crew. Before we used the floppy circular reflectors and a lot of foam core, um, shiny boards, stuff like that, which are just basically awkward. And uh, the circular ones are not sturdy. Nothing holds up. I mean, this is probably, it's like sliced bread. It's, uh, <laughs> it's the best thing around. I can't deny it. it I, it'd be going backwards if I went about it any other way these days. The light quality of the old circular disc reflectors was really inconsistent and it became really hard to get a nice even light. It was like it ended up being a little pinpoint, you know, almost specular light at times. And it uneven and un, unflattering, I think. You get a sun bounce panel out there, it's nice and flat and it's even. And it's consistent light all the way across. And even if you're using a hot, you know, zebra stripe and all that, it's it's beautiful. It's just clean light all the way across and there's very little fall off. If you had to talk to some of the upcoming professionals that are starting out and just getting started now, what uh, few points or positive things would you say that the Sunbounce system has to offer to a professional photographer? Oh, I, it saves money in the long run. I mean, a lot of people are just too cheap to, you know, buy the Sunbounce. So you go out and buy foam core and it doesn't last, it falls apart. Here you have a product that, you know, it endures the test of time. I mean, it doesn't break on you. It's light, it's just, I don't know, it saves so much time and money on my end. I don't have to hunt for stuff. Uh, you know, I've been out in the middle of nowhere and where you need lighting equipment, and if you can't bring it with you, you gotta try to buy pieces of cardboard and stuff like that. If you have sun bounce, you don't need to go hunting. You just take it with you. It's, you know, it's lighter than a set of golf clubs. <laughs> well, that's great. Thank you very much for sharing the day and inviting us on this professional shoot with you. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it.